Hello, curious minds. Welcome back to Reading Redness Centers. Today, we are embarking on an exciting journey to explore the wonders of rivers and lakes, two of our planet's most vital water bodies. Are you ready for an adventure? Let's dive in. Let's start our exploration with rivers. Imagine enormous streams of water winding their way through the land. That's a river. Rivers often begin high in the mountains and gain strength as they flow. Rivers begin their journey as tiny streams, fed by rainwater, snowmelt, and groundwater. As these streams flow downhill, they join forces to form larger and larger rivers. Rivers eventually flow into lakes, oceans, or other bodies of water. Rivers have sources, just like we have origins. They can start from melting snow, rainfall, or even underground springs. Now, let's turn our attention to lakes. Lakes are like massive puddles that never disappear. They are not just big, they are essential too. Lakes can be formed in a variety of ways. Crater lakes are formed when volcanoes erupt and leave behind craters that fill with water. Glacial lakes are formed when glacier melt and leave behind depressions in the land that fill with water. Dam lakes are formed when dams are constructed across rivers, creating artificial reservoirs. Lakes can form through the work of rivers, glacier, or even the earth itself. They act as nature's mirrors, reflecting the beauty around them. What do you think inhabits these serene lakes? Let's find out together. So, why are rivers and lakes so amazing? Because they serve us in countless ways. Imagine a world without water to drink or play in. It's a bit scary. Uses of rivers and lakes. Rivers and lakes play a crucial role in our lives, providing us with a multitude of benefits, including Rivers supply us with the water we drink, and lakes provide a perfect playground for animals and us. But that's not all. Can you guess how else we benefit from these watery wonders? Rivers and lakes serve as a primary source of drinking water for billions of people around the globe. Rivers and lakes are also essential for irrigating crops, ensuring a bountiful harvest to feed the world's population. Rivers and lakes provide vital transportation routes, connecting communities and facilitating trade. They also offer recreational opportunities, allowing us to enjoy boating, fishing, swimming, and other water-based activities. Conservation of rivers and lakes. Unfortunately, rivers and lakes face increasing threats from pollution and human activities. Now, on to an important mission for all of us conservation. Conserving rivers and lakes is crucial to ensure they continue to provide us with the invaluable benefits we depend on. We must take care of our rivers and lakes to keep them clean and happy. We can all play a part in protecting rivers and lakes by reducing pollution, using water wisely, and supporting organizations dedicated to preserving these precious water bodies. Let's become heroes for our rivers and lakes. We can keep them clean by not littering and by planting trees to protect their homes. Now that we've learned so much about rivers and lakes, let's put on our thinking caps for a moment. Can you recall where rivers usually begin? That's right, in the mountains. And what about lakes? How do they form? Whether it's rivers, glacier, or the earth itself, Lakes are born from fascinating processes. Great job, little explorers. You're becoming true experts on this topic. What an incredible journey we've had today. We uncovered the origins of rivers, discovered how lakes are like nature's mirrors, and explored the vital roles they play in our lives. But our adventure doesn't stop here. 
If you enjoyed this expedition into the world of rivers and lakes, give us a big thumbs up. Share this exciting video with your friends, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more thrilling adventures. Until our next exploration, keep the spirit of discovery alive, young geographers.